what's going on guys welcome back to clash there today we're taking a look at the town hall 9 queen charge hog attack and i have the lucky privilege of seeing that all of the bases are cleared all the 12s are scouted so i don't have anything to do with my town hall 9 other than just go play around and show you guys some cool attacks so we're going to go in on this base here this is a max town hall 9 Oh, not that one. We'll hit that one too. We'll hit that one in a second. Don't you worry. But these all have ground expos. I'm not even going to look at the CC. I'm not going to scout them. I'm just going to go in and hit these and see exactly what we're going after. Basically pretend it's a fresh hit and see if we can bring it in for a six pack. So when you're going for any style of hog attack, you need to deal with two primary targets. One is the enemy clan castle troops. The second is the enemy archer queen. If you don't take those down, they're going to cause some problems. If you can get the enemy barbarian king as well, then that's just an extra bonus. So we're going to go after all three of them on this base here. They are conveniently kind of grouped up here. So it makes it really easy to go in after all of them. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to charge right in with that queen and take down as many of them as possible. We'll just enter this compartment here and she can basically shoot everything inside of here as well. These air defenses here are only three tiles past the wall here. And so whenever you see like uh, touching defenses and touching the wall, then you should see that you can queen charge and shoot right over and the queen can reach that air defense over the wall. Same with this wizard tower over here. She just needs to get into this compartment here and she should have pretty good access to almost everything in the base. We're gonna have two rages to push her through and we'll have a baby dragon to funnel her as she goes in and we'll see how much value she can get and then we'll hog the rest of the base with a couple of heal spells. So let's go do this. We have, this is army composition here. I like to go with five or four healers. You can do whichever you prefer. This is a fresh hit, so I like to do five healers, but you can do four, it's fine. You can do four. She does just fine in Town Hall 9 with four. When you do uh, Town Hall 10 higher, generally you want to stick with five, but Town Hall 9 you can stick with four, but we're gonna do five today. And we're gonna do hogs in my clan castle and plenty of hogs of my own. And they're gonna sweep the whole base with just two heals. And then we're gonna follow them up with some wizards to clear all the buildings behind them. So let's go do this. Let's charge into this base and see how much value we can get. So let's start it off with the enemy archer, excuse me, with my archer queen. And I just wanna walk her along the side of the base here. So we'll just put the healers over there, put the baby dragon right there and we'll push her along. So we just gotta be patient here. Let the queen do her thing, moving along the side of the base here. She's gonna go step up. If she gets more than two point defenses on her, then you start you need to start thinking about getting some heals down, or rages, I mean, because when those uh, E-drags, oh, uh, I'm saying E-drag because I'm seeing E-drag coming at me. So we'll get a rage down to fight that E-drag, and that should, that should be too much problem. We'll be able to take down that E-drag, no problem. If you have a level 18 or lower queen, you need to be really careful with E-Drags because they will one-shot your queen. So be very, very mindful of that. And we'll keep on pushing here. We'll use this king to go out in front of my queen. And we wanna make sure the queen is actually under damage when you drop that king nearby. Otherwise, the healers might switch. We'll wait till all the defenses there are targeted. And we'll send in some wall breakers using the king out ahead to draw all the defenses along with what the queen is drawing to make sure that they can get all the way into the base and uh, get into the walls there. So. We would have the queen marching in here. I got a couple of bombs going off there getting my healers. That's not gonna be too much damage uh, because I already have that extra healer there. So it should be all right. So the king's gonna surge over there and help me out a little bit there. Hopefully I don't get a healer switch. The expo is holding damage on my queen. And it'll keep so or keep her basically locked down and it, uh, keep those healers on top of her. So that king goes down. That's actually a good thing right there. We're getting ready to start the hogs here. We're gonna start them on the opposite side of the base. We'll send in those high level hogs first and we'll swarm the other side of the base with these other hogs here. So we'll save a couple hogs. We'll sprinkle a couple wizards down behind and we'll bring in a heal spell, basically going over that bomb tower first. That's a priority. Those high level hogs can move really, really nice through the other side of the base there all by themselves. They don't need a heal quite yet. So we'll just kind of save that other heal for right here. We'll wait till the these archer towers are tanked and they'll send in the rest of the hogs and try to target it. So we have one more uh, wizard where do i want to throw it i'll throw it right down here on the corner here and they can go down and clear it out and look at that the whole base is wrecked i have an extra poison i could have used that on the dragon if i wanted to but it's not a big deal i can clear out the base no problem and sometimes i like to bring a skeleton spell that i can use to distract the enemy king and bring that uh 
or can use it to distract enemy queen if she somehow stays up. But basically, they're gonna those heroes if they stay up, they're gonna start one shotting your hogs. So you gotta be very very careful with them. But we're gonna be able to get out of this with swag queen ability. You got tons of hogs left. I'll hit that queen ability to just clean up a little bit here as the wizards are doing a good job on the other side of the base. They're following those hogs to clear everything out. We'll pop that queen ability and we'll get out of this one and go hit the other one and see if we can bring in a six pack. Even though it doesn't really mean anything in this war because everything's already cleared. So let's go and get this army ready again and then we'll hit the other one all right guys we got troops all cooked up let's go see if we can do another one this time i'm going to use the actual the actual skelly spell there so we're going to see if we can bring in the six pack here against the bases that have already been hit let's uh which one was it i think it was uh there was one with that had max defenses here and it didn't have max walls here it is all right so we'll do this one here and we'll see if we can get the six pack basically once again we're going in and after the queen we're going in after the king and we'll clear out as much of the defense as we can we do need to get into this core here so i'll show you exactly how to get into these deep cores with the hogs and it's pretty simple so let's go do this we have same army cooked up here it's a pretty universal nice army here let's go hit it we're live now here we go all right so we're going to use a queen here Put the healers down behind. We'll put the baby dragon there, starting on that corner hut, and he can work over and clear out the buildings right above the queen there to make sure that she goes upward on the base here. And then we'll punch in right around that air defense, I'm thinking. So we'll get the king going a little bit. We'll let her work there for just a second. She's not in any danger. So she can clear out the the ex or the what is that the archer tower there. The baby dragon can get the uh, cannon, or the baby dragon will miss the cannon. I was just kidding, <laughs> and it'll. Uh, we'll see which way she goes. We'll let her clear the cannon first, and she there we go, she's going the right way. So we'll throw this king out ahead of her, and we'll throw in the wall breakers right there. Oop, might hit that bomb tower. Don't hit me, bomb tower. Yeah, I got the wall break. All right, <laughs> we're in business. And we got the CC pull, perfect. All right, so we have an E-drag coming out of that CC. We'll get a poison down. We'll get the rage down as we fight that CC. That'll get us through the king as well, so that's kind of an extra bonus there. We'll be to fight off that CC before it probably even gets a shot off. We'll pop that king ability, get him around that corner. It looks like he wants to go inside, which is perfect. Uh, he's going to go in and clear out ahead of the queen there and push her into the base there towards the enemy queen to exact, exactly where we want her to go. So let's clear out a little bit more here. All right, so check this out. We have a couple defenses out in front of here that might cause the queen to veer off there. So we're going to throw a couple hogs down to get them out of the way so that they were they'll clear and the queen will go in the right direction. Hopefully I wanted her to go to that DE storage over there. So she is, she turned direction, and that's going to push her where we want her to go. It was worth a couple extra hogs there to make sure she goes where we want her to go. We'll pop that extra rage there and push her in. We're going to start the hogs over on the other side. Oh, she's the turn tail here, and she's bailing on me. So, uh, all right, we're just going to have to wing it here. We have the skeleton spell, so we can get her to turn back around. We will throw a wizard up there. All right, let's do this. We're going to send in the max level hogs here that queen ability and here we go we're sending in all kinds of stuff here we're gonna pop this up uh, here we go pop that skelly spell on her that max level skelly spell should hopefully get her through uh nope she decided to jump the wall there so maybe we can throw a couple wizards down and try to snipe her off there and or at least distract her for a while looks like my queen went down so we're in a little bit of trouble here but we're still moving through the base there the skelly spell has distracted the queen and that will get those hogs to move through the rest of the base so we'll drop a heal in this last area here we have one extra hog i'll hold it on to it for like a corner hut or something the healers have switched off of the queen now looks like my skelly trap got the queen down or skelly spell i mean so we're in business here we're going to come out with the six pack on this one as long as they don't time fail i have a lot of wizards working on the outside we'll get this uh, last hog that i held on to onto that corner hut and hopefully they can clear into the bottom of the base there i was messing around with my queen for a long time so it looks like it might cause me to time fail while i was trying to figure out which way she was going to go and that's really one of the biggest downsides of a long queen charge it's very very powerful but you end up with some time fails so we're going to get uh one star by the looks of it but it was still a fun attack there and unfortunately i didn't go through so we cleared out all the defenses we reacted appropriately to get the base down but just didn't pan out so there we go guys uh, i actually got a couple things i'm going to show you because we have dreamhack dallas coming up on the the 2nd of june so there's going to be a big esl live stream we are flying out to dallas and we just got new team uniforms let me grab them real quick i'll show you what we got Oh, real quick before I go get those uniforms and before I forget here, we actually have a nice 
milestone that we are reaching right now. So before we disappear here, check this out. My Barbarian King, as you just saw in that battle, was level 28, but I have enough Dark Elixir here to get him down because we have the Silver Pass. You're hooking us up with some rewards here, so thank you Supercell, giving us some free stuff here. And so we're gonna grab all of this Dark Elixir here, and that should put us exactly what we need there, exactly what we need. There we go, 121,000 Dark Elixir, and we'll pop that uh, Barbarian King, we'll put him under construction, and I think, Oh, I don't have a book of heroes. <laughs> All right, I guess I gotta finish up this gold pass here and then I will put that book of heroes right there and put that queen, or excuse me, that king down under construction and finish him up. Well, I guess he's already done under construction. So we're gonna finish him up instantly with that and then we'll put him down for the final level with that hammer of heroes. And it's gonna be awesome, guys. Level 30 queen, 100%, excuse me, level 30 king and queen and 100% max town hall nine. Don't know if I'm gonna be moving on for a little while. I do have a little bit more reason here that I'm gonna finish up and I don't have a reason to go to Town Hall 10 at the moment because I want to stay a Town Hall 9 so I can provide you guys more content for Town Hall 9 but we'll finish up this research and we'll just chill here for a while so there we go guys let's go get those uniforms and check it out all right guys here are the new uniforms so check it out one hive represent and sporting that yellow and black there for the bees that's what i'm talking about there's my uniform right there we got uniforms for the whole team i just ordered them and they came in today so we are all prepped we're leaving next week to fly out to dreamhack dallas and play on stage at the convention there it's going to be a lot of fun and the live streams for that are going to be going on directly after this live streams for the poland uh world qualifiers yeah <laughs> the world qualifiers for poland where our other one hive team is gonna be flying out there so they'll have their own uniforms whatever they give them out there when they arrive but we don't get uniforms applied for dream hacks so we got our own and these are awesome i'm so happy with them and we're gonna represent the team well and hopefully win at dream hack dallas against Coso clash and also we're gonna be out there with Carbon Fin Gaming as well because he was going out anyways, but then they offered him the announcing position. So he's gonna be up on stage with us and not just a spectator. So he's gonna be there announcing the tournament and it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna play best two out of three against Coastal Clash. One hour wars are very intense and we'll see if we can come out on top and hopefully we'll win some big money in the process. We've already locked in at least second place in the tournament. It's been a couple months going here as we've been playing through and we made it to this point and we're going so it's gonna be awesome I can't wait but either way go check out the Queen Charge hog attack if you haven't tried it already it's very very powerful it's a little bit technical to use you got to use a little bit of practice to get those Queen charges down and get that Queen leveled up if you haven't already and go out there and wreck some bases with the Queen Charge hog attack but either way that's gonna be it for today guys make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next one